Greetings and welcome to another edition of Practical Assertion. I come to you today a little road weary. Aside from the regular running here and there with the kids back and forth to work, I was asked to help a good friend who is like a brother out with some contract work on computers. You add to that the heat and the traffic and you have the makings of a good meltdown. On top of all that, the power steering went out, so my arms and shoulders have been getting a real workout the last couple of days. This is work that was recently done, so just wait till I get my hands on the mechanic that did the work. All that said, I'm beat. But you know what is good about this kind of week? The rest. Once I do settle down, I know that the rest will be off the chain. I sat in a gospel meeting this week with Brother George Williams from the Eastside Congregation in Austin, Texas, and on last evening he expounded on Jesus' promise found in Matthew 11, 28 through 30, which says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Notice, Jesus' promise is rest to those who labor and are heavy laden. As if it were not bad enough to have to work, then to have another burden placed upon you, it's enough to make anyone ask the question, how do you spell relief? Some of you may recall the commercial years ago, 1976 to be exact, by Rolaids. You know, they open up with this question and answer it by spelling the words R-O-L-A-I-D-S. That was for indigestion. You know that condition that you experience when something doesn't sit well with you? From a physiological standpoint, most everyone has suffered through it, and most, if not all, seek immediate relief. There are many causes for indigestion, that is, the inability to digest or difficulty in digesting something, according to Merriam-Webster. In simple terms, digestion is the process of breaking food down so that the body can convert it into useful compounds. The process actually begins when we first put something into our mouths. I'm giving you the background so that we can make practical application to those things that are difficult for us to digest in our personal lives. You see, if we're uncomfortable, there's a good chance that we have more than likely bitten off more than we can chew. Sometimes we do just that, bite off more than we can chew, but other times we suffer indigestion because someone else or just life circumstances force more down our throats than we're ready for. In either case, there is a need for relief. So again, the question is, how do you spell relief? I would really like to hear from you on this matter. As I've mentioned before in this medium, I like to unwind, debrief, decompress by watching a good action movie at the end of a week, Phil, with other people's reality through counseling. I gotta tell you, I love counseling, but it can get to be a chore sometimes, but I don't let it get to me. One reason that I, that I don't let it get to me when I counsel with individuals is that it makes me appreciate my blessings even more. But I digress. Back to the topic. That's how I spell relief, or one of the ways. Now how about you? Maybe you could start by sharing what causes you to feel like you've bitten off more than you can chew. Finances, family, friends, future, fights, fussing, fear, frustration. Have I come down your street yet? Did you notice that all of those started with the letter F? <laughs> That's the preacher in me. And all of you preachers who are tuned in, give a brother some credit when you use them. <laughs> Just kidding. Everything that I have, I receive, so I have no right to boast. Just consider inviting me to, to your place of worship to do a workshop or training for you. Once again, I digress. Please let me hear from you. You'd be surprised, but you're sharing what you do to spell relief could be just what one of my viewers needs to make it through. To my sister that I just spoke with about relationship issues and to anyone else struggling and in need of relief, let me once again remind you of Jesus' promise. If you've been laboring and some burden has been thrust upon you, Jesus says, come to me with it and I will give you rest. As I wrap this edition up, allow me to again say thank you to each and every one of you for being loyal readers or viewers. I think we're making a difference based on the comments many of you send our way, whether via email, social media, or in person. We are encouraged. We look forward to seeing you again next week for another edition of Practical Assertion. Take care.